care goes, nothing, baby. Now let's go to Scott at Tilly's in Rhode Island. It's time for our Wicked Bites road trip. Today we're looking for steak and cheese. Could it be any simpler than that? Great steak covered with cheese. But well, we have found one of the best places in all of New England, and it's in Rhode Island, in Kingston. It's called Tilly's Cheese Steaks. This is exactly what I'm looking for. A cheese steak joint in the middle of what I consider nowhere. Absolutely no way. Now, what do we have in front of us right now? We've got fried pickles. Mm -hmm. This is one of our biggest appetizers. Chili lime dipping sauce. Massachusetts made. Crinkle cut. Gluten-free breading with our chili spice. A little bit of a kick. What's Texas caviar? Texas caviar is a dish that has got a black eyed peas, black beans, avocado, cilantro, sea salt. We mix it to order. It's our take on southern salad. Well, what do you have right here? This is our coffee milk milkshake. So all Rhode Island ice cream, we make our own coffee milk syrup. A little chocolate espresso bark, house made whipped cream. I'm almost down to the bottom yeah, it's gone. Mmm. All right, I'm going to hand the back right now. I want to make my own steak and cheese. Absolutely. But then get ready. I'm going to come back, and I want to see all your creative steak and cheese. You got it. Thank you. Rob, I came back here to talk to the man, the man that makes probably more steak and cheeses than anybody in New England. That's you. Could be. Could be. I came back here to make my own, but okay. you know what? You're the expert. All right. Just something that I should have. You a chicken fan? Big chicken fan. A lot of people don't realize because we're a cheesesteak place, we do have a chicken variety that's all, that's also available. All right. How about some bacon? You can't go wrong with bacon, right? I always say the only way you make bacon better is you wrap it in bacon. Yes. Uh, a little caramelized onions. We're going to do a little derivative of something we have the menu. The more people eat it or do they take out? We got a good mix, actually. It's about 50-50. This is like a fried dough cheesesteak. Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, custom build. You know, uh, people can custom build their sandwiches any way they see fit. And fried dough is one of the options. Kind of a missed factor here at Tilly's, unfortunately. We love selling these sandwiches. Signature only to us. You can't get it anywhere else like this. Uh, I want you to put together a whole bunch of your specialty ones for me. All right. I'm going to go meet John. And I know okay. John has been known to put down a cheese bake or two. He has. There it is. The chicken BLT on fried bread. So go make some more for me. You got it. John, these cheesesteaks are enormous. Thank you. This is the original right here. Absolutely. Till it's Philly. Oh, it's loaded with tons of cheese. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, we can get all the all place. Place. We go through hundreds of napkins. Mm -hmm. And this one right here, this is really unique. Those are like onion rings on it. Those are house made fun of onion strings. Blue cheese, blue cream cheese spread. It's great. But you go even, I would say, beyond this because you have a pizza one. We ran that as a special, and finally it just became a menu staple. Well, and we've had that, that ever since, yeah. I can see it because it's so, so colorful. When yeah. they see it and they get to try it and taste it, you got all that flavor kind of just explodes in your mouth. And the crispy pepperoni on the top is my, one of my favorite little snacks. You don't mind if I reach over and grab the PB and J. I'm thinking peanut butter and jelly, but no way. No way. That's pork belly. We uh, cure it for a couple days, cook it in its own fat, and then re-sear it for you when we make your sandwich. Yeah, everything is better anyway with pork belly. Absolutely. A little fattiness is always good. But well, there's still more. Absolutely. The one right here in front of me. I mean, that's I loaded. This is sort of like, for me, a little bit of a salad at the same time. So it's healthy. People come and say, they're like, well, I'm not going to a cheesesteak shop. I'm vegetarian. Well, here's your option. Well, here's the problem. I think if I have this, I'm going to be overserved. Look at the size of this right here. We don't mess around with portions. You do not. John, thank you very much for having us here thank today. You. I have a feeling people will come here at least a two-hour drive just to come here and try his thinking Jesus. Thank you so much.